I have clients who are in the situation where they're no contact with their parents and quite often the parents and their siblings, but they're still close to aunts and uncles and cousins and things like people like that, relationships like that. And so they worry the same way that you do, that they're not going to be included because of the fact that maybe that family member wants to ensure there's not gonna be drama going on at the event or doesn't wanna put the black sheep scapegoat on the spot, they're more likely not to include the person who went no contact rather than the person who made it so that you had to go no contact. I tell my clients, and this seems to have worked so far, um, that they should just reach out individually to those people that they're close to in a phone call or maybe it's over lunch. Don't do it by text because it lacks intonation and just be honest and say, listen, I'm concerned because I do want to make sure that I'm able to be included in other family events. And when I am, there's not going to be any drama on my part. Like I don't have a need to engage with that person and I can certainly stand in a room with them and be in an event without anything kicking off and that's it that's all just let them know that and make sure that before you attend the event you're in a mindset where you can carry that out what will happen is you won't have to continue to have that conversation moving forward they'll see that you're okay with it and they'll just keep on inviting you and if you know the person you're no contact with goes in a tizzy likely they will be the one left off the list in the future I hope this is helpful for you